Do you ever find yourself stressing out to get things done? Today, I'm going to give you a simple tip that will give you instant clarity so you can take all that pressure off your back today, coming up. Welcome to The Power of Quiet, where we're here to help you achieve your goals and be happy all the time while you're doing it. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button because as you'll see, everything that we do here is simple and it actually works. Now, our topic today, getting things done without the stress. This came up for me the other day as I was working on a video for one of the live classes. This is a lengthy video where I guide the participants through the processes deeply in the work that we're doing. And if you've ever done any sort of video content creation, you probably know that Murphy's Law always seems to kick in. Anything that can go wrong will show up and go wrong. Equipment malfunctions, all sorts of distractions show up. Well, all of this stuff was happening the other day. My camera just kept stopping its recording all on its own. And after I got all that sorted out, then I had distractions just pop up everywhere. And before I knew it, I was five hours into this recording project. And then my mind started getting activated. Like, oh my God, this is taking so long. I got other stuff to do. And along with that, it triggered up some feelings of stress. Now, I caught myself and I looked at it and I saw, well, wait a minute. What is my intention here? Is my intention to get this video over and done with? Or is my intention to knock out a rock solid video that's really beneficial? Now, obviously, when I looked at it that way, I saw really what my intention really was. And that gave me the clarity about what I was doing. I didn't have to worry then about how long it's going to take me. And then I realized, well, you know what? As I'm doing these videos, guiding and releasing, I'm releasing too. So this process of just sitting here in front of the camera doing this work, it helps me. I enjoy it. So who cares how long it takes? And that just lifted away all the stress. Once I got clear what my real intention was. And that's really one of the things that just stresses us out when we have projects and things aren't going our way and we have this pulling from different directions. That's what causes our stress. And oftentimes those pulling from opposite directions are just different motivations or intentions conflicting with each other. So, it's helpful just to see what those different intentions are, prioritize them and say, you know what, I'm going to really focus on this intention. If my intention is to create a solid video and enjoy the process, then that's it. I'm doing that. Or if my intention is just to get it all done, then I don't need to worry about it being so perfect. I just get it done. I'm happy with it. And that's it. Right? So it just makes things so much easier. Now I have another story that illustrates this point. A girl I used to go out with, whenever we would go out on a date, she would take forever to get ready. And she'd always, you know, decide between wearing this thing or that thing and take forever with her makeup. And I would get a little stressed out because, you know, we have like a show to go to, something that has you know, a time that we have to be there by. And I'm going, hurry up, hurry up, get ready. But after a while of having these battles like this, it just clicked in with me. Well, wait a minute. What is my intention here? Is my intention to go to the show and enjoy the show? Because if that's the case, I'll just say, hey, look, you just get ready. I'm going to go to the show and you can join me there. Or is my intention to have a good time with my girlfriend. And if that's the case, 
who cares if we miss the beginning of the show? Because what's really important is us being together. Now that's the choice that I made and that took the whole conflict off of the table. And then I was able to relax and just focus in on what's really important and have a good time. So just some simple discrimination like this, as you'll see, can really just remove the stress right off of your plate. Now, talk about stress, and this is something we can work on right here. One of the things that just stresses us out with the things that we have to do is resistance to doing them. Now, take a look to see if you've got something that you have to do. Maybe it's for your work or your business. Maybe it's something that's a project that you've been wanting to do, but you've been procrastinating or you've been finding it to be a lot of effort to do it, or you just been feeling a lot of resistance towards doing it. And you know what that resistance feels like. It's just feeling like you're banging yourself against a brick wall. Now, that resistance is a feeling. And if you think about the situation, just sitting here right now, you can get in touch with the feeling. So first of all, just think about a situation that has been bringing up some resistance something that you've been trying to work on, you haven't been able to get done. And notice that feeling of resistance, that feeling of stress, that pushing feeling. Now, what I want you to do is just measure this resistance on a scale of zero to 10, 10 being the most resistant, and zero being the least resistant right now. Now, wherever you're at, whether it's a two, a four, or a 10, notice when that resistance comes up, you don't like the resistance. You don't like that pushy feeling. You don't like that feeling of throwing yourself against a brick wall. And in effect, what you're doing is you're saying no to that resistance, right? Because you don't like it. Now, when you say no to that resistance, does that make the resistance go away? Of course not. In fact, it just makes the resistance even stronger, right? It makes it even harder to get those things done. So if saying no, that doesn't work, then let's do something completely different. Now, get in touch with that resistance that you measured, whether it's a two, a four, or a 10, and just look right at that resistance. And see, since saying no doesn't work, see if you're willing to do something completely different. Are you? All right, so then look at that resistance and say yes to it. Try it out. Could you say yes to that resistance? Just look at it and say yes to it. It's just a feeling. Just say yes to it. And could you say yes to that resistance even more? And could you say yes to that resistance even more? And could you say yes to it even more? And even more. And could you say yes to that resistance even more? And could you say yes to it even more? And even more. Now this isn't anything that's complicated. Just three simple letters, Y-E-S, that's it. Just look at the resistance, it's just a feeling. It's only a feeling, seriously. It's not good, it's not bad, it's just a feeling, a sensation, a phenomena. And could you say yes to it even more? 
and even more. And even more. And even more. And even more. Now, measure yourself again on that scale of zero to 10 and see if you moved. See if you went down a couple of notches or all the way down to zero. Notice the difference. Notice if you feel a little bit lighter, less heavy. Now that's showing you that you can let go of that resistance. You don't have to fight with it anymore. You don't have to wrestle with it, shove it back down, collect it. That's showing you that you can just let it leave. That lighter feeling is the absence and proof that it left. Now, if there's any resistance remaining, let's just keep going. See, so you've got some momentum going now. So let go pushing down on the rest of that resistance and just let it come up. Just see it as energy coming up and open up a big imaginary window or door and imagine that energy just going right on out the door now. Now let go of pushing down on it. Just allow it to arise and just allow it to move right on out the door. And even more. 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 Notice how you feel now. See if you feel even lighter. And see if your mind has quieted down. You feel just more peaceful, calm, present in this moment. And this is your natural state. Just being. Being alert, alive to now, this moment. And when you're completely in tune with this moment, all these projects that you have to work on, they just fall together with harmony. And all the answers that you're looking for come to you intuitively. When your mind goes quiet and you're completely present in this moment, you see you'll have answers for everything. And this is your natural state. This is the power that you are a part of, your universal power. And as you keep on letting go of these feelings, like the, the resistance, fear, stress, all this stuff, all these feelings that bother us, you see how simple it is. Just say yes to it and then let it leave. And you see, it's happy to leave because it doesn't belong there. And what's left over is the real you, the unlimited you. So keep welcoming this stuff up, keep letting it go. And everything that you're looking for, all your goals, will just fall right into your lap and you'll see that you're capable of things that you never dreamed that you'd be able to do. And you'll find that they're so easy. All right. So if you like this, if this is helpful for you, remember hit the like button. And if you're new here, hit subscribe and I'll see you later. Have a wonderful day.